Hello YouTube, my name is Chimera and today I am here to talk a little bit about competitive Overwatch. I got Overwatch a few months ago but I have been playing tons and tons of Overwatch so I can finally get a gold weapon but sadly I am not quite there yet. But I learned a lot about Overwatch and a lot of competitive Overwatch and what things you should not do and what things you should do and extra stuff between those that can help you actually be a good Overwatch player in general so let's start out with the first thing and the most important thing ever finding your main the reason that it is very important to have a main is because you will have a character that you can actually rely on and actually do good with this is very important because if you are team is doing very bad you can actually go to your main and start helping your team out a lot more and having a good main can actually save the whole game and it's always preferred to not have a main people say it's always better but it's actually false because if you do not have a main that then, then you cannot focus on a hero that you want to be good at so for example, I am a Farah main and I actually train a lot of Farah and try to be good with her. So if I have to actually play some games, I try to stay on Farah so I can learn a little bit better and try to control my flying and hovering in the air way better. Instead of people who do not have mains, they have to go through every hero and train little bit by little bit by little bit. That is very good, but you won't have enough time to be good at all heroes, so instead of focusing on all heroes, just have one main that you're good with. The way that you can find your main is by playing some quick play or going to arcade and try out 1v1s or other types of arcade games because they can help you find your favorite hero and then you can use that hero as your main. But remember this, in competitive there is some better heroes to actually main, like for example if you main uh, Mercy in competitive you will be a lot more useful than Hanzo. So try to main heroes that are actually useful in competitive because that can help you a lot and your team will not rage as much when you're actually playing Mercy than compared to when you're playing a Hanzo because your team knows that Mercy Mercy is reliable and it, she can help your team to push and actually keep your tanks alive. Compared to Hanzo, Hanzo can do a lot of damage I know and it can take out Faris or one of the most annoying characters in the game but still characters like Mercy can actually help you a lot further on and there's other heroes that you can actually main like Reinhardt, Zaya, D.Va especially because D.Va is one of the most important characters in competitive because she can eat a lot of ults so find a main that is really good in competitive and that you like using. That is one of the parts of having a good main. Now comes to training. Training is one of the most important things in competitive. So if you don't train with your certain hero or your main, then you won't be able to do good as you used to. So remember, practice makes perfect. A way that you can actually train is going to training rounds or going against AI that will help you tremendously. Or even just going into quick play and trying out your main. It will help you tremendously learn how people actually move when you're fighting against some certain type of people and it will help you actually predict a lot of movement before they actually move. For example, I play a lot of Farah and I have to predict a lot of movement and most times I go to training rounds and it helps me tremendously but remember the AI is sent in one direction but when I go in and quick play it helps me even further more because I can realize what the movement will happen next and that helps me tremendously in competitive because I can take out Mercy soldiers and and other characters who move pretty fast and I can actually predict where they're going to go next. This will allow you to actually pick off heroes when they're trying to run away from you or trying to hide or trying to get that health back that is across the map. So remember training makes perfect and if more you train, more stronger you get, more better you get at using that character. So you found your main and you're pretty good with it. That's pretty nice. Now you need to learn how to play competitive. Because if you have your main and you go to competitive, 
you're more useless than you actually were before actually getting your main because now you don't want to switch from your main because you don't feel comfortable using any other character I get what your feeling is and believe me or not I used to do that exact same thing I really did not want to switch from Farah because I was pretty nice I used to get 40 eliminations all the way to 60 eliminations every single game and I didn't even want to think about changing to another hero because I really loved Farah and it was amazing to play but my team really needed another tank so I really didn't want to change but when I did I chose D.Va and I did pretty good with her and I started using other characters that helped me actually be better with other characters remember if you have your main it doesn't mean that you don't need to use every other hero there is 24 heroes and there are reason why there's 24 you can use so many different heroes and each different is different from each other so it's really important for you to actually know what you're doing and it's really important to have more than one character that you can use one of the biggest suggestions that I can give you is having one character that you're good with in every single category meaning from attack to defend to support so at least have one or more for example I always have two at least because it helps me if somebody has already Zen I can always go Lucio so most times in competitive you will only see almost two tanks two supports and two damage dealers and either mostly like that or something different maybe you will have a bastion set up that means you will have more than one tank or more than one healer and sometimes you have solo heal and other stuff but remember having more than one character that you're good with is very important but remember if you have a main you should still keep practicing with your main as your main character that you will be using in competitive but if your main isn't working out for example if i'm playing Farah and there's five different characters who can shoot me down from the sky hanzo widow soldier and mccree and they're trying to take me down and that means i should switch i am giving a lot of annoyance but after i annoyed them enough they will switch and start countering me really hard so i rather switch than actually try to kill all of them at the same time it will be a lot harder for me to do so so i rather switch to another character that i'm really comfortable for example maybe a medic maybe a support maybe even a tank that actually can help my team and one of my teammates can maybe switch to maybe a soldier or some other damage dealer that can take out those damage dealers so you always want to keep changing your character if they're hard countering you but if they're not countering you and they're not paying attention that's the best spot to actually use your main and destroy them completely because most of the games that I play I really see like I don't see that many people actually switch from their main and they don't actually counter me at all even if they actually do switch to soldier they're not comfortable using soldiers so they most times can't kill me so if they can't kill me I can live on and start destroying their tanks and their support it is very important to have more than one character that you're comfortable using all right, I got my main and I'm comfortable playing with few other heroes that can be useful to my team. So I'm ready for competitive. Yeah, can I just jump in and start playing? No, sadly not yet at least. The one of the most important things in Overwatch is team based game. Overwatch is really reliant on team. And that is the reason why Overwatch is so fun to play is because you need to rely on your team to actually help you out to get that elimination to help you to actually push through the payload and actually win or defend anything but you need to have a team to be good with so the best way of doing this is having an automatic system of always joining team chat this is very important because if you're in competitive sometimes I always forget to join team chat but now I always remember to automatically switch to team chat it will allow me to talk to my team it will allow me to tell them that I have my ultimate if we have a Zaya I can stack on her ultimate even if there's diva or anybody I can help them out and my team can help me out tremendously one of the biggest examples is if I have a mercy on my team it will help me communicate with her and ask her for healing or damage boosting me with that it will allow me to get a lot more kills and will let me stay alive in the air a lot longer all right you switch to team comp and nobody wants to talk to you or they don't have mics and nobody's actually communicating and they're being just cancer what can you actually do after that 
One of the biggest things that I love doing is actually getting a team, a group of friends that I can actually rely on. I can actually talk to them and ask them for favors or then tell them what to do. It will allow me to actually help my team a lot further on. So one of the things that I love doing is getting on Discord, asking my friends to join so we can actually talk. And it's way easier for us to talk and communicate on Discord than in game. But remember, it's not always that easy. Some of your friends may not have Discord. It's pretty easy to download or you can always go on Team Chat, Skype, or even just use your phone to call them and tell them, hey, can I use your phone and can we talk while we're playing a game? So that's one of the best things you can do. Further on, alright you invited your friend to Discord or on Skype, now you're talking to them and he's asking to invite more than one person. Many people like saying only have two people and they should only have 100 SR uh, lower or higher from you. That is very important in higher SRs that 3000 and up or 2000 and up. I'm a very low SR, I'm only about to get to 2000 SR, sadly I'm not quite there yet. But all my friends who I actually play with aren't that high as me, some of my friends are even higher than me and some are very low for 900 SR. But we still win games, not because oh we're so terrible and my teammates are 900 SR that means we're losing because of them no we're actually most times actually win because I actually get matched into games who are a lot lower SR meaning their skill level is a lot lower but my friends are actually way better than you actually think so many people who have 900 SR many people think that they're terrible or they don't know how to play overwatch but to be honest some of them are godlike one of my personal friends who's really good on Farah and he is amazing and godlike who actually told me to try out Farah and I fell in love with is a lot lower SR than me he is 900 SR quite around that level but he can wreck my ass even though I'm a hundred almost 500 SR higher than him most times and I can pretty much do a lot of stuff that he can do but his skill is a lot higher so SR doesn't always mean skill. So try to find a group of friends that are really good and they know how to play and you can actually stack with each other. Meaning if you have a Zarya, you can have a friend that plays Tracer. That means you can both stack on each other and use ultimates at the same time and pretty much team wipe them. Or you can have Farah and Mercy. Most of my friends know how to play Mercy. That's why I actually like playing with them so remember have friends that are great to play with and know what you actually play so they can always stack on you so this is very important having a very important team one of the best and one of the best one of the best team comps that I figured out is having six people in your team the reason is because compared to other competitive people who I have watched all of them say never have six people or more than two that is not always true because remember when you join in competitive not everybody wants to comply to your opinion so most times you see that Hanzo who doesn't want to change and doesn't want to listen to you so they always say oh I don't want to change because I'm a Hanzo main so that's why it's very important to have a lot of friends and if you have a whole team of six people who are actually playing overwatch at the same time and you invite all of them and all of them have mics and you can communicate it is a blessing because it will allow you to actually talk to your team and it allows you to actually do a lot more with your team and it will allow you not to argue anymore with strangers who you barely know and it will help you a lot in competitive if you have a full team who knows what they're doing and they're comfortable doing it. But this is my opinion and this is my experience. I did try many games with only having a friend who's about 50 SR lower than me but most of the times I see some nasty people on competitive who don't want to change and when you do ask them please change you're not as good as this character my friend is better or I'm better can you please change for at least one round so I can actually kill some of those characters they completely ignore you and that's one of the things that I really hate in competitive because if you do not want to change and if somebody is trying to say hey can you change and you don't want to change 
there's always an exit thing and you can always never play competitors. If you don't want to change and if you don't want to comply to your team, please do not play competitive because the game is not for you and it's not meant for saying, oh, if you're playing Hanzo, you're terrible, you should not play. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you never want to change from Hanzo, you're a terrible player on competitive because I see some great ass Hanzos who can destroy me when I'm playing Farah and when they're on my team, I always say, hey, can you change to a Devo or a Ryan? He's like, give me a one round and they do amazing and they ask after they die, they ask, do you still want me to change? I always say, no, if they're actually doing good and I change instead because I see that He's a lot more useful than I am in the team, so I would rather let him play a good character than letting me just starting yelling at him just saying, hey you should change even though you're doing better than me. So in competitive, if you do want to play, please know that you can always change to a different character. So if there's a Tracer and Zarya comp, please change because they are friends and they already know what they need to do. They don't even have to talk to each other and they will already know what the other person needs. Or sometimes if I'm playing far and my friend is Mercy, she always knows when to damage with me, always knows when to heal me. And I don't actually have to yell at her or tell her what to do. Well, another Mercy can jump in and start playing. I have to ask them to do stuff and I have to tell them what to do because I'm not comfortable to let them do whatever they're doing. So if you don't want to get screamed at or yelled at, just change. If, if you don't want to get yelled at or screamed at, just change. And even though it pisses you off, even if it's upsetting that, even if you're better than them at that main character, if they're actually doing a pretty good team and they're actually doing their job, maybe go to another character. Maybe go Lucio if you're a mercy main. Maybe do something else because it's not always important to actually be good at one character compared to having a group that is good at stacking on each other and it will allow them to actually push a lot further through than having a one character who's amazing at what they're doing but isn't good at stacking with other people. So you found your main, so you're comfortable with playing more than one character and now you have team comp and you have a lot of friends who are in discord or you can talk to them or communicate with them. And whenever a person asks, you're ready to change in competitive. So are you ready for competitive? And the answer is yes, because you're already ready enough to actually try out competitive. So if you've never tried out competitive, try it out after doing all these steps. And if you already tried out competitive and you hated it and you didn't like the rage and the negativity that it goes on in competitive, maybe try it out after you do these steps. These will help you tremendously. And I know sometimes it's not as comfortable to actually let other people use your main. And I know all the raging moments when you see a mercy not doing their job and I know a lot of times when you ask a person to change and they don't change so please it's a game and have fun while playing this game but please don't ruin it to other people if you like playing Hanzo and you're comfortable playing it and you like it and you have a lot of fun playing it but when a person is asking you to change and you don't want to change even though they're begging you and you're just being cancer then please don't play competitive there's a lot more different game modes in overwatch that can actually make better sense for you because if you want to actually just have fun why don't you just go to quick play that's the best place to have fun and that's what I like doing I always like to go to quick play if I'm playing around maybe I want to try out Hanzo maybe I try I want to try out May. that's where I actually go to but remember guys have fun in this game but remember not to ruin the fun for other people because cancer goes both ways. So that's all for my guide on being better on competitive overwatch but guys if you do like this video why don't you drop a like and subscribe for more videos. For right now peace out and let me catch you next time.